Throughout the years of Genshin, there have been many glitches, bugs, and faults within the game that have been found by the community. Whether they are less harmful like the recent Diluc and Venti glitches, or potentially as malicious as the external scripts to utilize Kaveh to delete Alhytham and everything you hold dear, this one oversight is a tale that one seemingly can never come back from, and the repercussions are compounding. My name is Joshua, and welcome Genshin F2Ps and Swipes to the Serena Teapot Bug. Before we begin, make sure you guys smash the like and subscribe button, and here we go. In the English language, there's a word called a fable, a story with a lesson. Today, we will be sharing a lesson through the story of one particular Genshin player that wanted to take things one step too far. Meet Emetius, a once curious Genshin player that wouldn't know the repercussions of his actions until they were too late. As many of you are familiar with, the domains of the Serena Teapot were implemented in Genshin 1.5 to provide a housing system that was able to be expanded and modified through crafting furniture and other decoratives. Everything that you place would give you a certain amount of Adeptus energy that would fill up and grant you a certain rate of regenerating realm currency in which to trade for goodies. And let's be real, you'll log in once a week, grab your fragile resin, and leave your 10 companion friends stand idle, staring, 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 staring into the endless, the void, endless void, of time. void of time. Early on, people realized that farming for sandbar trees in Liyue would give you the basic wood material needed for the pine folding screen, a 1x3 screen decoration that would grant you quite a bit of adeptal energy. Soon, people were filling their teapots with these screens as they were space efficient, myself included, and this created what was known as the crypto mining meta. And if you're watching this from 2030, let me know how Shiba Inu and Dogecoin are doing. Now, as for Emmetius, they had the bright idea to max out on collecting as many of these pine folding screens that they could fit into their inventory. And since the beginning of when the Serena Teapot was introduced till now, they have been working to grab 9,999 screens. And they did it. However, that screenshot was just not enough for Emmetius. See, they saw Max and thought, Now for a lesson. You may have heard these words before, but I'll teach you what they really mean. Go beyond! Plus! Because instead of leaving things as is, they went back to Tubby and tubbed him up some more with five craftings of the Jade Screen. Naturally, this would not necessarily hurt the player, as then you should be able to pick up the crafting furniture after. But since they had maxed out on their screen inventory, they could no longer pick up the item from Tubby and they were in a stalemate. But Josh, why can't we just delete a few of the screens to make room for more? And while you see my YouTube frogs, that's exactly it. There is no delete button for furniture. Yes, you heard that right. You can't delete your furniture. Which, when you think about it, the devs probably weren't thinking of someone like Enmedias just waltzing in and maxing out a single furniture piece. Well, the story gets juicier because Emmetius went to the internet to find answers and attempted to contact Hoyo Labs for assistance, which to no one's surprise, they answered with the problem by saying your inventory is not limitless. That's why you're not able to click your furnishings. Um, no shit, Sherlock. There's no way a person who even remotely understood the issue could have written that out. Come on, be better, ChatGPT. So now that leaves us in the position we are today, what is Emmetius going to do? Let's be honest, this bug or oversight isn't the most pressing matter for Hoyoverse. So for now, Emmetius will be stuck without being able to craft and build upon their crypto empire. Did you enjoy the story? I know I did. Make sure to click on one of our next videos to see what we're up to next. Make sure to smash the subscribe button or you 
will be stuck cracking screens for all eternity. My name is Josh, and we'll see you in the next one.